Love's indiscriminate. Love loves what is. Everything. Nothing's left out. It loves, it loves the people that are trying to heal the world and it loves the people that are trying to destroy it. It's an indiscriminate lover of what is. That's love. You see, that's <laughs> and I think also as human beings we're often afraid of that. Like, well, if I really love everything and everybody, including the people who are destroying everything, and of course the people who are destroying everything are you and me. <laughs> we always think it's someone over there, but it's actually our own divided state of consciousness. That's what's destroying everything. But when we really see that love is indiscriminate, it doesn't mean it's stupid or that it, it's an excuse for everything, but it just, it's a lover of what is. And to me, that's the, that's the hope. That's the power of it. Do you know? That's the power of it. It's very easy to be motivated by fear. What I don't want to happen. Right? What I want to correct. That's not very powerful, though. We've tried that for centuries and centuries and centuries, right? We come up with a new political system, a new spiritual system, a new philosophy. We could even come up with a new philosophy of oneness. Whatever it is, if it's motivated by fear, it's still in the old consciousness. But when it's motivated by love, then it has power. Then we're not so interested in what I'm against. We're interested in what we're for. That's a very different thing. Mahatma Gandhi always used to tell people, I'm not against the British rule. I'm not against them. I'm for, I for Indian rule. I'm for Indian rights. I'm not against anybody. And intellectually, you know, people can go, oh, well, that's interesting. But really, it's very, very significant. It's literally a change of consciousness when all of your consciousness goes to what you're for, which is innately positive, and innately, it's not, it's not being motivated by fear. When we look at what we're against, it's always motivated by fear. So there's this you know, little man in India that inspired, had a great um, quality of inspiring people, right? And he brought that, that inspiration was very, very, very powerful. Of course, he always struggled with fear, right, with the populace, because they because there were always the outbreaks of violence and hate and all of that. And that when he was always trying to tell people, no, 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 don't hate, don't be against. Right? We're for Indian rights, we're for this, we're for that. And I think that's just one, one example. You know, or Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King wasn't against white people. Right? But he was for the, the rights of African Americans. And that, has, that carries with it a very different energy, a very different consciousness. On the surface, it may not look as powerful because we're not going to battle, we're not yelling, we're not screaming, we're not going to wars with people. But underneath, on the unmanifest level, it's infinitely more powerful, exponentially more powerful when, when we're, our consciousness is what we're for than what we're against.